artists of all levels and art lovers. This is Susan Jenkins and I'm here today in my home studio that I call Monet Cafe and I thought you might like to join me today because I'm going to be doing a dog portrait and this is a sweet fella that his, uh, his name is Camo and his owners commissioned me to do a dog sketch of him. Sadly, he passed away and uh, they just want something to remember him by. I do a lot of um, portrait work of animals that have passed away and, and living animals because they're just such great parts of our lives. And uh, this one is going to be a sketch instead of a painting or a drawing. And um, so I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna be using here. Basically, I've just got some different uh, pencils that are of different hardness and darkness here. And I am probably gonna be using white as well and perhaps maybe some, some grays or uh, other shades, but mostly just black and white. And um, I've got, uh, also I wanted to show you how I sharpen these. I take this pencil here and I sharpen it basically with an X-Acto blade so that I get this long part of the lead showing. The reason for that is that you can shade uh, wider areas instead of shading the whole thing with just the tip. It's a nice way to get broader uh, shading areas. And I also, and there, here's an X-Acto blade, I just sharpen it with that. And I also use this uh, sandpaper pad. It is basically a sandpaper pad with 12 removable sheets. What you do with this is it's great for sharpening your pencils when you have made the lead long like this. So you can get a, uh, a wide way to sharpen it like that instead of, you couldn't put this in a pencil sharpener in other words. <laughs> that would not work. So you can sharpen it on these. And like I said, it's got the 12 removable pads so when one of them is, uh, doesn't have any sanded surface anymore, you just tear it off and use the next one. It's kind of a neat thing. I'm also gonna be using a kneaded eraser and just a regular sharpener for my white pencil. And I'm also again gonna be using this toned gray paper that I really like working on because you're already starting in this gray value instead of my work is upside down in here because I'm left-handed and I, I don't like working with the ring here, so that's why everything's upside down. Um, but I love working on the gray paper because it's already a value that is kind of um, lighter to medium instead of working on white paper. So anyway, this is how we're gonna get going here. I'm glad you're with me. And good drawing skills is the core and the foundation of any great artwork. So even if you're interested in painting and color, I hope you'll stick around for this one just to see if you can learn anything from this about drawing skills. So I'm glad you're here with me. Oh, and I did an initial sketch. I always like to do a quick initial sketch. I'm not done with this one yet. Just to work out my composition. I'm not quite sure if I'm gonna include his foot or not or just his head. So it's always a good idea to do a quick composition sketch. And here we go. We're gonna get started here and I hope you enjoy this lesson. And I hope I do camo justice.